today I'm in the Mojave Desert driving Toyota's last V8 SUV that you can buy brand new. That's the current generation Lexus GX460. After this year, you're not going to be able to get a V8 SUV made by Toyota. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel everybody. By now it's common knowledge that Toyota and Lexus are the same exact company. Uh, but as it stands right now, whether you're interested in a Toyota or a Lexus, if you're interested in, in a Toyota or a Lexus as an SUV and you want a V8 Toyota or a Lexus SUV, you only have one choice because after this year, Toyota and Lexus are going to switch over to turbocharged V6s and turbocharged four-cylinder engines in their Lexus and Toyota SUVs. Currently, right now, this is the last Toyota V8 SUV available brand new on the market. The current generation uh, Tundra, uh, the current generation uh, Lexus LX600 and the current 4Runner are either going to be a naturally aspirated V6 in the case of the 4Runner or a turbocharged V6 in the case of the, let's say, the new Toyota Sequoia. Uh, so this is it. So if you like V8 SUVs, let's consider, before they're gone forever, the V8 4Runner, which is what I'm driving right now. And this is the current year Lexus GX 460. And this is the last Toyota Lexus made V8 SUV 4x4 vehicle on the market, period. What's awesome about this Lexus GX460 that may not be common knowledge, especially to those of you that are interested in the Toyota 4Runner, is that this is essentially a V8 4Runner. In fact, it's actually better than a uh, 4Runner with the V8 because this is indeed uh, the Lexus version of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, upon which both the GX and the current 4Runner are based upon. So a lot of 4Runner buyers may not be happy about Toyota's decision to switch the next generation Toyota 4Runner to a turbocharged 4-cylinder. Yes, they're probably going to put a turbocharged 4 in a 4-cylinder. If not, it'll get at, at, uh, a turbocharged 6-cylinder. Either way, many potential buyers aren't happy about that. They want a 4Runner or a Toyota SUV with a V8. People are barely satisfied with the naturally aspirated V6 in the current Gen 4Runner, and people feel that a turbo V6 4Runner or a turbo 4-cylinder 4Runner is a big step backwards, even though, admittedly, Toyota is going to provide you with more horsepower and torque in both the turbo 4 and Turbo 6 next generation of 4Runners. So where does that leave individuals who just can't have that? Whether it's because of the, uh, the reasons for not liking the power, in other words, lack of power, even though it's gonna give you more power, or lack of feel uh, you know, that the V8 gives you or a V6 gives you. They don't like the turbo feel. Or perhaps it's for reliability purposes. They don't trust that these new next-gen Toyota four-cylinders in the 4Runner are going to be reliable as a naturally aspirated engine. So where does that leave you? Well, it leaves you right now with a special opportunity. I hate to sound like a car dealer, but a, go a golden opportunity uh, for you to uh, consider uh, the Lexus GX 460, which is essentially a V8 4Runner, but better, and it's available right now. It's the last. So 
Uh, what you're going to get with the Lexus GX460 is what I call a great value, just like the uh, your favorite Walmart brand. <laughs> great value. The Lexus GX460 is the biggest open secret that exists in 4x4 world right now. Why? Be let me tell you. Because you're going, you can get a Land Cruiser Prado for about the same price as a marked up Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. So Toyota's top tier 4Runner, uh, when you see them on dealer lots, are so marked up these days because of that TRD marketing package and the perception behind that, that you're actually able to get these GXs, which are mechanically and objectively better, uh, you're actually able to get these cheaper than a Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. So it's for that reason that you've got a great opportunity if you're interested in a V8 4Runner to grab one of these Lexus GX460s before other people find out about this secret or more importantly, they're gone forever, which we know is coming. So consider the great value of getting a Land Cruiser Prado if you just have to have that uh, forerunner with a V8 engine. Now, many may consider the uh, idea of off-roading a Lexus like I'm doing now kind of ridiculous, but this thing is none other than a Land Cruiser Prado with a body kit uh, or as some people like to say, a Land Cruiser Prado in drag. Don't let the goofy uh, Lexus design language fool you. <laughs> this sucker is a Land Cruiser Prado, which in the world market is ranked higher than a 4Runner. Yes, even the TRD Pro 4Runner, which is an American marketing package. So the best way to explain what you get with a GX460 is to explain actually what you don't get uh, with a Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. What you, the main things you don't get are obviously you're not going to get a V8 and you're not going to get a 6-speed transmission. This one has a 6-speed, not a 5-speed. But it gets better than that. This car, the Lexus GX460, has full-time four-wheel drive. The TRD Pro does not. This car has KDSS. The TRD Pro does, does not. Now those are what I call marginal but objective differences, but it makes a difference. So you're actually getting more uh, and a better value with your GX. The only thing that you're not gonna get with GX versus say a 4Runner TRD Pro is the better gas mileage that you would get from the V6 engine. But if you are interested in off-roading uh, your Lexus and you're okay with worst miles per gallons from a V8 engine in this type of vehicle, go ahead and check this out because all you got to do is rip off the body kit and let's be honest, if you're going to off-road a 4Runner or a Jeep or any, any vehicle, the first thing you're going to do is chop off the bumper and the side skirts anyway and put on some aftermarket junk just like we did. So you were going to do that anyway to your 4Runner. So basically you get this, chop the bumper like we did, chop off the sides and you're good to go. The um, uh, other advantage is the GX460, since it shares the same mechanical platform or framework as the 4Runner, all the aftermarket stuff that you wanted on your 4Runner you can apply here. We've got full skids, blah blah blah, and any type of lift kit that you wanted for your 4Runner or potential 4Runner you can put on your GX. So with very little effort uh, involved in tweaks to a stock GX, you could essentially turn it back to what the world knows as a Land Cruiser Prado uh, and have yourself your, quote, V8 4Runner for what I believe is a value, a tremendous value compared to what dealers are asking for TRD 4Runners right now. Now, some people might be interested, hey, why is this TRD 4Runner going so <laughs> for so much more than a GX? And it just comes down to marketing. Toyota hit the sweet spot with this TRD stuff. They're giving people less, but they're marketing it in such a way that it looks like they're getting more, and therefore they can charge more for it. But when you look at things on paper, you'll see the difference between 
the GX slash Land Cruiser Prado and your Toyota Port 4Runner TRD Pro. So I implore you, if you're interested in a 4Runner and you're mad about the new uh, upcoming changes to the next gen 4Runners, um, please consider uh, checking out the Lexus GX460. You won't be disappointed. And again, a few snips here on the bumper and a snips here down below. You're good to go. You can do whatever other mods you want to do with your 4Runner, but you're going to have big V8, all this luxury, a sunroof, a third row, full-time four-wheel drive for maximum safety on and off-road, the absolutely epic KDSS system, uh, and all the other goodies that come with all the rest of the 4Runner, such as A-Track, the phenomenal A-Track. So check it out. I think it's a great value. Remember, after this year, they're gone. No Toyota or Lexus truck or SUV will have a V8. This is the last. They still make uh, Lexus sedans with the 5.0 V8 as we speak, but no SUVs. This is it. After that, it's an end of an era. So if you want it, jump on it. I think you can't go wrong with the Lexus GX460 if you can't stand the idea of an unreliable four-cylinder or six-cylinder turbocharged engine in a 6,000-pound 4x4 SUV. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.